All right. So here's chapter four, uh, section three, graph with intercepts. And this is going to be a very, very short video. All right. So how I want to start off is just by identifying what are we what are we talking about by intercepts? So we'll just draw something, a line very quick. This is the point three comma zero. And this is going to be the point zero comma two. Connect the dots. All right. So that's yeah, about as straight a line. I guess I can make it a little bit better. There we go. So there are two extremely valuable points on every single graph of a line. And those two points are going to be the X and the Y intercept. Now, this point right here is called the Y intercept. And this point down here is called the X intercept. And they are called that because that is where the line crosses that axis respectively. Okay. Now at a Y intercept, and I'm going to write this here at a Y intercept, you got to remember it's going to be zero comma Y. And most importantly, X will always equal zero. And that is huge for us. Okay. And you'll see why in a little bit at an X intercept, well, this is going to be the, the ordered pair x comma zero. And then an x intercept, you are always guaranteed that y equals zero. Now, I told you this would be huge for us, and I'm going to show you why. Okay? So if I gave you a graph, or if I if I gave you this example here, and I just said graph the following. So graph, and we're going to say 2x plus y equals 6. Okay? If I ask you to graph that. Well, you and I both know that if we wanted to, we can go ahead and we can create this table here and just go ahead and find all these ordered pairs. But let's be honest, it takes a lot of math. And the more math we do, the more likely a mistake may come up. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to graph this. And how we're going to how are we going to find our points? Well, what we're going to use are the intercepts to do this. Okay. Now. This equation right here, linear equation, 2x plus y equals 6, is in a very special form, okay? This is called standard form, okay? And in general, so I guess maybe I'll just write an arrow. In general, if an equation, let me be more specific. If a linear equation in two variables is written in the form ax plus by equals c, where both a and b are not zero, then we have standard form. So to kind of simplify this very complicated, at least I think it's kind of, it's very wordy definition here. If both variables are on the same side, I don't care what side they're on. It can be on the left side of the equation. It can be on the right side. It doesn't matter here. But if they're both on the same side, then we what we have is standard form. Now, there, there is one little thing that I want to go over, and that's this right here, where it says where both A and B are not zero. What that's saying is you cannot have the coefficients A and B zero at the same time, because if you have that, then what you're going to have is zero equals C, okay? And the only way that that's a true statement is if C is zero as well. So we want to avoid the situation where both A and B are not zero. And to be honest with you, we are never going to really run into that unless I'm trying to throw you a curveball, which I never try to do anyways, okay? So back onto this. If I wanted to graph 2x plus y equals 6 using intercepts, watch how easy this is. Underneath, off to the left, I'm just going to write the x-intercept. Do like a little line here. Actually, I'm going to center it. Get myself some space. So we got the x-intercept. And then we got the y-intercept. 
Okay? Now remember, at an x-intercept, you're always going to have this point. It's going to look like this, x comma 0. But more importantly, we know y equals 0. So my equation above, 2x plus y equals 6, really just turns into 2x equals 6. And that's because y equals 0. So I could just basically just cross it out and just 2x equals 6. Now, if I just take 2x equals 6 and solve, I get x equals 3, which means my x-intercept is 3 comma 0. Okay? Now, we're going to apply the same technique to the y-intercept. But just remember, at a y-intercept, x is always going to be 0. So, when you go ahead and take your linear equation, you know that you're going to get 2 times 0 plus y equals 6, or just y equals 6, and that's already solved. So, your y-intercept is going to be 0 comma 6. So, notice here, just by understanding that, hey, our equation's in standard form. We can use intercepts real quickly to graph it. Notice I found two points, and they were really easy to find, and it's really fast to graph this. So, and I'm not going to be too particular with this. I'm just going to draw a line up here because I know that's where the point 0, 6 is going to be. Then I'm going to draw a little line down here. I know that's where 3, 0 is going to be. And then all I have to do is just connect the dots, and I got my line. Okay? That's as hard as this gets. When you're graphing with x and y intercepts, you've got to understand the definition of the x-intercept and the y-intercept, respectively. So if you could just remember, and I'm going to write it one last time. So I guess maybe we'll put a little, little dot. The x-intercept occurs when y equals 0, and you're always going to have this point right here x comma 0. Likewise, the y-intercept occurs when x equals 0. And it's always going to have that, that, that feel of 0 comma y. All right? So what I want to do here is I'm just going to do uh, one or two more examples. You know, I don't want to get too crazy with this because it's really it's really not that crazy at all. Okay? So let's try this one here. Oops, sorry, directions. Graph negative x. Ah, that one's too similar to the one we just did. How about man? Ah, let's do this one. Negative 4x minus 3y equals 12. Okay? So first, we're in standard form. Both variables are on the same side. Screams standard form. And as soon as I acknowledge that, let's go and find those x and y intercepts. All right, so create a little table like I do. Now, at an x-intercept, we know y equals 0. So... My equation just turns out to be negative 4x equals 12. Divide both sides by negative 4. I get x equals negative 3. For an x-intercept of negative 3 comma 0. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for the y-intercept. So with a y-intercept, we know x is always equal to 0. So that's going to yield negative 3y equals 12. Divide both sides by negative 3. You get y equals negative 4. So my y-intercept... It's going to be 0, comma, negative 4. Off to the right, I'll go ahead and graph this real quick. My x-intercept is uh, negative 3, comma, 0, so that's going to be like over here. My y-intercept is going to be 0, comma, negative 4, so that's going to be somewhere down here. And then all I have to do is, as best you can, connect the dots. And that's it. You're done. And I am done with this video. Like I said, this is going to be a very short video, okay? Um, good luck. And in the next one, we're going to talk about understanding slope of a line because that's really important, okay? So I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.